Hello everybody, it's Brenda. I'm here today with How to Be a Better Person. Alright. Pray. It doesn't matter who or what you pray to. But sharing your thoughts with a higher power has been shown again and again to be beneficial, beneficial to your physical and emotional health. Aspects of confirm it it may report feeling something mentally a cloud the moon even a ceiling fan saying whatever kind of prayer feels right to you whatever it occur whenever it occurs to you will help you feel more supported and understand don't know what to say simply say thank you it's a nice day to nature a spiritual connection meditate meditation does three crucial things to promote relaxation trains you to start again when you can't get off track and teaches you not to chase every distracting thought that pops in your head to meditate don't overthink it set a timer for five or to 15 minutes and simply sit and focus on a sound or your breathing when your mind wanders say the word thinking in your mind and go back to Breathe. Repeat until the timer goes off. Meditate again tomorrow. Drop your skepticism. We all need a bit of skepticism. You don't want to buy a lemon simply because you don't think it looks under the hood, but making sure you never get snookered can become a habit and haunt and hardens your heart in and mind, which in turn makes you less trustworthy to others. To strike a balance, seek to understand instead of reject and to gather information rather than exposed flaws. Hear your broken record. The things you tell yourself over and over shape your worldview. So what do you say again and again if you aren't sure? Ask your partner and some trusted friends what they hear you say repeatedly. Things like it must be nice to have so much money. Life is a bitch. Where's your where where so broke? We're so broke. What are some new more positive phrases you can replace them with? Okay, find a kinder inner voice. Once you get a handle on, on what your unique inner voice sounds like, you can take steps to upgrade it. After all, you, can, you can't change a habit you don't know you have. How would Glenda the Good Witch talk to you or your dog? Or your best friend. Choose whose guidance you want to internalize and give yourself an alternate alternative to the same old meanie. Change your inner voice and it won't be long before you and others notice the new warmth in your outer voice. Develop Dissentment. To discern means to preverse and to distinguish is a law of subtler and juggling and reacting and it's a skill that can be honed. Next time you face your face with a choice, aim to discern the step that makes the most sense for you. Calming 
or coming from the perspective implies that choice already exists and you don't have to do the work of creating it. Practice discerning rather than deciding and you help yourself choose a little more con congratulatory. Trust your gut. Your intuition is wise part of your is the wise part of yourself that senses what's in your best interest and what is not. The problem is intuition speaks quietly and sometimes captivity. Kind of like Yoda. So it's easy to ignore or dismiss. Strengthen your relationship with your inner Yoda by letting it Make at least one decision a day, such as what to do, what to work on next, or who to reach out to, just as in any other relationship. The move you listen to is your intuition. The more you understand what it's trying to say. Be your own best friend. Buddhists describe the, the aim of meditation as making friends with yourself. That can be pretty novel. Con that can be a pretty novel concept. If you typically think of yourself as someone or something in in critique, if you are your own best friend, how would you treat yourself differently? What shortcomings would you Except, what accomplishments would you be proud of? Another benefit of this activity is that you'll likely find yourself inspired to be better friends with others. How to recharge best. You're wondering why you always feel worn out. You must not be giving yourself the right conditions you need to rejuvenate. Introverts require solitude while extroverts need to be around other people. If you do not if you don't know much about your personality type, take an online Myers Briggs personality test. You'll be surprised how much it can help you understand the conditions you need to free your best. Aim to accept. You may wish your spouse were more organized or your child were more successful, but wanting them to, do, to be different than they are only weighs you down. Until you drop the resistance and accept them as they are, you won't be able to find an understanding or peace that they won't find with you. The more you remind your spouse to put his wallet in the same spot every night, the more he'll be inspired to commit on habits of yours that drive him crazy. How it takes you so long to answer a text, say, when you accept that he's a messy guy, he's more likely to find his way to the new habit because he won't feel compelled to rebel, rebel against you. This magical thing about accept, acceptance is, the one, is that once you can access it, the thing you are resisting often changes all of its own, all on its own, the dramatic shifts and new possibilities open up. Thank you for listening. That is my reading for today. Until next time. Bye.